Hello, hello, and welcome to B6 Stop Motion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit, color correct, and add sound effects to the stop motion you've created in Dragon Frame. This is my personal routine, and I usually use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos. So that's what we will be using today. And let's get started. Here's the project that I have um, finished taking pictures. It's animated and ready to go. Let's export this video. Go to file, export movie. You all know this part. Same frame rate as uh, my project and 1920 by 1080 movie type MP4 H264. And we want to make sure that we are using the highest quality and hit export and I'm going to export it on my desktop call it food fingers uh, dragon frame and click on export movie it's only six seconds so let's quickly watch it this is uh, what we'll be working with so let me close that now and go to my desktop where I save this one of the most important things is uh, being organized while working with uh, files like this. So what I want to do is create a new folder and call it food fingers PR uh, stands for premiere files and let's double click on this. And this is something that I always do with all of my projects. And I create a new folder and call this one assets. And I put all the assets over here so they're all nice and organized. So here is the video that we just exported. Copy this over. Here is the sound effect that I got from um, a website, a royalty free website. I'm going to copy this as well. And here is another uh, soundtrack, a music, a background music that I will be using for this video. And I will copy this one over as well. You can record your own sound effects, but if you don't have time or the equipment, I have a few uh, links that I usually use and I will put them in the description below. So if you want to check them out, feel free to do so. I'm going to create another folder and call this one PR files, which means that all my Premiere files is going to be here. Now that we have this folder organized and ready to go, let's open uh, Premiere Pro. If you haven't used Premiere Pro before, I'm going to show you all you need to know to get started and edit your stop motion video. So this is the first uh, pop-up window you're going to get and let's just go ahead and create a new project. So this is where you need to choose your location. Let's browse and find that same folder that we created, the Food Fingers PR and PR files and select this one as a destination. And we can add a name to this one as well. I'm going to call it Dragon Frame. PR. I'm not going to change anything else in this window and click on OK. If you haven't seen Premiere Pro before, this is pretty much the default look. I might have moved things around a little bit, but this is pretty much what it is. And in order to get started, we need to import our files. So where it says import media to start, I'm going to right click and click on import or you can drag and drop from your folders as well. Let's find our files, uh, assets and select all three of them and click on import. All right, now we have all our files imported. We need to create a sequence first. And there are many ways to do that, but the easiest way that I found, and it's the quickest way, is just by dragging your uh, video file and dropping it over here. So I'm just going to drag this food fingers and drop it over here. And Premiere Pro is going to create a sequence with the same exact name. So sequences have this symbol. This is only video formats and these two are obviously icons for 
sound effects or music. Now that we created a sequence based off of this, you see that they have the same exact frame rate as well. Let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, so this is my video and as you can see, it needs some color correction. It is a little bit underexposed, which is my personal preference. I prefer to shoot underexposed, not a lot, just a tiny bit because I can always fix that in post-production, but it would be a lot harder to fix overexposed pictures in post. Some of the informations get lost and you cannot bring them back. So in order to uh, fix the colors on this one, we need to select the video first. So I'm right over here in the sequence section and selecting this video and you get these attributes over here in the effect control section. So if you want to move your uh, video or make it bigger or smaller, you can do all of that, but, but I don't need to change any of this. All I'm trying to do is fix the colors. So let me close that nice and clean. In order to edit the colors of your um, video, you need to go and find the effects section which is on this side so here is the effects there are many effects that you can use for fixing the colors like there is a color balance or color correction brightness and contrast but the most powerful one in my opinion is the lumetri colors so let's search for that lumetri color lumetri colors basically have everything you need here we go, it found the Lumetri colors. Now with that video selected, we're going to double click on this one and it's going to add this to the effects section of our video. So we have basic corrections and we have creative corrections and a lot of other things that you can use. I think I will be fine with only using the basic corrections. So this one have the light balance, temperature, and a lot of factors that you can change. Um, like I think, for example, I am going to make this a little bit um, cooler that I'm going to change the temperature. And the exposure also, I think I'm just going to add one, bump it up. That already looks a lot better. And highlights, bump it up as well. That looks nice. Let me go to a spot that has both colors. Okay. And maybe a little bit of the whites as well. All right. So if you want to see the before and after, you just need to click on this effects icon and you will get to see how much it changed. I think that looks pretty good to me, but there are a lot of options over here. This was only the basic corrections. If you go to creatives, you can do a ton of other things, change the shadow tint and uh, create a whole new um, color scheme for your uh, video if you want to. Let me undo these and close it. So feel free to play with all of these uh, options around here if you have not. And they are really helpful for editing any kind of video. Okay, now I think I am good with this. Let's, let's see how it looks before adding the sound effects. All right, I'm already seeing like, I feel like I need to add a little bit of a hold when this one pops back up right here before it disappears. I could have fixed this in a uh, dragon frame, but sometimes you don't see it and I did not. So in order to give this frame, let me zoom in. So here is the frame that I wanted to last a little bit longer. In order to select this one, this is an a full video so we need to cut that part and stretch it 
I have my cursor where I want it to be and get this razor tool. Here's one cut over here and one frame after another cut over here. Now let me zoom back out, move this one a little bit because I want to stretch this part. Now select it and I should go and get this stretch tool. This basically stretch any video, but since this one is a single image, it won't affect my video as much. It's just adding a hole to it. But if you stretch a different video, it might look like a slow motion. All right, let's see how it looks now. That looks a lot better. Let me zoom out. Nice. Like it just gives us enough time to read it and then they move away. All right, so this is uh, pretty much what I usually do with the video. Let's go to our project where all of our files are and bring the pop sound effect. So here's the pop sound effect and here is where the pop happens. So I'm going to drag this one over here in the audio section. This whole bottom area is the audio section. And I am going to get my selection tool and bring it maybe over here and let's play and see how it looks. That looks about right. Yeah. So I'm going to grab the end of it and bring it to the end of our animation as well. So let's play it again. That looks just right. So we added the pop sound to the video already. That's how you can add any other music that you would want. Let's try it with this other soundtrack that I have and I want to use a section of it. So let me play this one a little bit. I'm not going to be using the first section. I'm going to start from the middle. Let's hear it. So I'm not using any of these. Certainly not that part. I'm starting from right here. So I know where I'm going to start. I'm going to drag the sound effect to a second layer of audio over here. And I know I'm not using these first part. This is where I need to start my um, sound effect. So I am going to grab the beginning off of it and cut it until over here. Now if I drag it over, my music starts from here. Right. That looks kind of nice. This is um, now let me just close um, cut the end of it as well. By the way, don't forget to save your project. Keep saving it and uh, hitting command S. Let me do that right now. So this is the basics of how you can add and uh, edit video and audio over here obviously the audio file needs a little bit of more time but i just wanted to give you the basics and i have already shown you how to cut apart and make it go longer and all of that stuff so uh, i want to keep this video short i am going to uh, show you how to save this file as an mp4 file whenever you're done with editing in order to save this as an mp4 files, we gotta go to files as most other programs, export, and we are exporting the media. We get this pop-up, the timing should match what you have on your project, six seconds over here, and the format is H264. You can uh, match the source which that's what I'm going to do because uh, my source was the right size. But if you are saving it for any other sources, there are tons of other options over here that you can use. 
don't forget to click on this uh, output name the blue one otherwise uh, you might not know where it's saving it it's saving it on the desktop and I'm going to change that to or with audio let me do that and click on save you want both of these check marks if you have audio and video and I don't need to change anything else over here we are clicking on export so this might take a little bit of time again but it will save it to our desktop or wherever you have it here we go this is the saved file with the audio all right so I just wanted to quickly show you guys how to do this. I hope you guys spend some time and uh, figuring out how to use other options in Premiere Pro. It's a big program and there's a lot of great YouTube tutorials out there if you want to learn more. I really hope uh, you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you are a Dragon Frame fan and you haven't subscribed yet, I have a lot of stop motion and dragon frame tutorials and videos coming up soon every friday i will be posting a new one thank you for watching and i hope i see you in the next one